This video will show an example of how to use dictionaries in Unity and talk a little bit about them. So dictionaries are generic collections that store key value pairs. And what's nice about it is that you can use that key to quickly look up a value and also keep track of unique elements. So for my example, I'm going to show how you could keep track of an inventory and the quantities stored in that inventory. So just jumping over into Visual Studio, I'm going to go ahead and make a dictionary. So I'm going to put that in my class. And you just say the word dictionary. And in these angle brackets, you say the type of your key and value. So in my case, my key is going to be the inventory item, and that will be a string. And the value is going to hold the quantity, so that will be an integer. Then I say what the name of my dictionary will be. I'll call it my inventory. And then once again, you say what the key and value types are going to be. So this sets up a new dictionary called my inventory. The string will be the inventory item, int will be the quantity. I can add inventory items by simply typing the name of the dictionary, then dot add, and the key value pair I'd like to add. Dictionary items do need to have unique keys, so I can only add unique items. How about I add one more thing? Okay, so these three items or three types of items are in my inventory of four swords, three potions, and two towels. So how about we display this? I'm going to be using a text field in Unity to display it versus the console. So I've already added Unity Engine UI as my directive up here, but I need to declare my public text field here. And I'll call it Inventory Display. So I'll connect that up in Unity. And to display it, I'll put that, I'll just display it once. We'll move that into a method in a little bit. To display that, I'm going to be using a for each loop, and it'll loop through each item in my dictionary. And what's nice about this is it kind of shortens the path to get the key and the value. So I can refer in my loop to the item that I'm pulling, each entry, as item. So now I can set my inventory dot display dot text to item dot key and item dot value. Now what I want to do is add on to what's in the text field versus replace it. So before I display it, I'm going to clear it out. I'll go. I'll just set it to nothing first. And then what I'm going to do is a plus equals, which will append on to what's in my inventory display. So what I want to do is show the item key, which would be the item, which would be the sword or towel, and the quantity.
And I want a line return after each one, so I'm going to be adding that in as well. So this will clear out the text field, it'll loop through my dictionary, and for each item it will display the item key after the word item, and then it'll display the item value, which will actually be the quantity. So let's connect that up and see it work. Okay, so in Unity, I already have my script inventory attached to this empty game object script. And in there, I have to de designate what my inventory display is going to be. And that is that text field that I want to use. So I've got one called it display. I'm going to drag that over here. I already made that. That's right here where it says new text. I just left that there just so I could see where it is. And I think I should be able to run it. So when it runs, it says item, I have a sword, I have four of those, I have three potions, two towels. Okay, so let's see how you can change that. Now we know that sword has four in there. If I wanted to change the value of an item in a dictionary, what I do is I say my inventory And in the square brackets, I put the index, which is essentially the key I would like to access. And then I simply put the value after the equal sign. So let's say I want, um, I'll just change it so suddenly I have 10 swords. So if I run this again, I should then see 10 as far as quantity for sword. Okay, and there it is. 10 swords. If I'd like to remove an item, let's say I no longer want any potions, I use the remove command and then in parentheses what key of the item I'd like to remove. So if I don't want any more potions, I can do that. So now it will actually remove the entire listing for potion. So now if I run it, it should show 10 swords and two towels. Okay, that's what it's, we expected. But let's see, let's say we wanna make this a little more interactive and we wanna be able to more dynamically change how these are working versus have that all in the start. This isn't very likely to, to happen. Maybe a setup, but it's kind of, this isn't something you would do dynamically. So I've set up some buttons, some plus and minus buttons for sword, potion, towel, and sandwich. And what I'd like to do is start with a blank inventory. And when I click plus, I will add a sword. When I click minus, I'll remove a sword. And I'll have that display here. So let's do sword first and get that working. And then really, the rest of these work exactly the same. So to do that, Let's make a, let's clear out the start. I'm not gonna be um, adding any there. I guess initially it could just show what's in the inventory. We'll move that out as well in, in a minute. But let's make a method to add a sword. So what I would like to do is either add one to my sword, or if there are no swords in my dictionary already, I wanna create a brand new entry. So what I wanna do is check to see if my inventory already has a key called sword. And I can use contains key to do that. And what I do is I say contains key, and what am I looking for? Since I'm adding a sword, I want to see if it already has something called sword in it. If it does have something called sword in it, I know that I it has at least one, so I can increment the count for sword. And I can simply do that by typing my inventory square brackets sword. 
and use the plus plus to increment the sword value by one. And then if there is no entry for sword yet, then I can add one. I go add. So then I need to do the full key value pair. So I would add one sword because I'm just clicking one. So what this should do is if I already have a sword, it'll add one to it. Otherwise, it will add the entry for sword. Okay, that should be good. But then after I enter it, I want to be able to see the updated inventory. So what I want to do is move my display into a method. So I'm going to grab this. Just copy that for now. I'm going to do that right after the start here. And how about I make one called public void? How about display inventory? And I'll paste that here. So what this is going to do is it's just going to clear out what was there originally and then loop through my inventory and as many items there are, it'll display the key and value just like it did for start. And since I have this as a method now, I can do, I can just call this instead of having it duplicated. So on start, it will display the inventory, which essentially it'll clear it out. And then um, we go from there. So before I head over to Unity, I notice I have a little error here. I am missing a parentheses in my if. So I'm going to go ahead and add that. So. I also noticed that I haven't displayed my inventory yet. So if I added a sword, I still wouldn't know. So I need to also add my display inventory to my add sword. So we have, we're going to add sword. And after I do that, I display inventory. So now let's go over to Unity and check it out. OK, so I need to connect my plus button up to the method I just wrote. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that and in the inspector click plus on the on click and drag my script, the object that contains my script over to this. Choose the method I just wrote. It's in the inventory class called add sword. And let's give it a try. So when I click on this, I should see sword one. Okay, there we go. Item sword quantity one. All right, so if I click again, it should go up to two and so on. All right, so let's get the minus one in. All right, so it's going to be very similar to add sword, except that I'm going to be um, subtracting. I can actually copy some of this. Let's call this remove sword. Okay, so I've got. Um, Remove sword. I still want to check if it, see if it contains the key sword, right? Because if we click, I don't want to try and remove something. And I can do just the opposite here. So I can do minus minus. I can subtract one. And I don't have a need to add. However, I do want to make sure that I actually remove that sword entry if this ends up being zero or fewer. Because I don't want negative swords. So what I can do is check if my inventory if the value of sword is less than or equal to zero and I'm putting the less than in just kind of to catch things and then I can remove that item from my inventory so let's connect this up and try it out and I also have that display at the end still so same thing here, I'm clicking on the button. I'm going to add this, drag my script over, and choose the method that I created, which was remove sword. So let's try it out. Okay, I'm adding to my sword, subtracting. Now when it goes to zero, this should actually disappear. Okay, good. So now we should be able to do the exact same thing with these. So I'm going to go ahead 
and add that. Pretty much all I'm going to do is copy the add sword, remove sword method, methods, paste them, and change it to, for instance, add potion. and change it to potion and remove potion does the exact same thing. And then I'm going to put the other two in as well and I'll skip ahead in the video so you don't have to watch me do that. So now I have taken my add sword and remove sword methods. I've copied them to have add potion, remove potion, and change the items in there, add towel, remove towel, add sandwich, remove sandwich. So I just need to go over into Unity and connect up my buttons. And I'm going to go ahead and do that and then jump ahead in the video again. So I've connected all these buttons up. Let's see if they work. So I know I should be able to add swords and remove Let's add potions, remove them, add towels, remove them, add sandwiches, remove. Now what's interesting about a dictionary is it stores things in no particular order. So sometimes if you delete something, then um, the insertion point seems to be where it left off. So let's see, let's add a towel. Notice it doesn't add to the end. So um, it doesn't really matter for a dictionary because you're looking up the key to access the data, but um, something to be aware of. Now, something I want to add, I want to add one more thing to say um, if it's empty, I want to actually display something like the inventory is empty. So let's just add that on. So I can do that in the display inventory, and I still want the text to be nothing. I'm just going to add that in the beginning. So I'm going to do that with an if statement. So if the count of that is less than or equal to zero, then I want it to display the inventory is empty. And if it's not, it can go ahead and display the inventory. OK, so I'm going to save this and just make sure that's still working. OK, inventory is empty. And then I can add some potions, some towels, some swords. Let's get rid of everything. Inventory is empty. So these were just a few things you can do with dictionaries.